And in studying the universality of things, we study, should study the universality of mind as mother, father, male and female principle of mind. Everything has gender. That's why the Kibalion is so important a book uh, to have because it explains those seven universal laws that are not going to change, that you keep using because that's the way mind works. That's the way nature is. And to understand the functioning of nature and the nature of mind is to understand the nature of things and the nature, most importantly, of self and other human beings. You know, we'll be less uh, affected by the, the concept of homophobia if we realize we're all male and female in principle. Okay. And if we understand chemistry, we know that chemistry operates sexuality. If you've got too much female hormone in your brain, you're going to behave with a feminine personality. If you've got too much male hormone in your brain, even if it's a female, she's going to behave with a masculine personality. That's nature. At its lowest level, of expression, of course, on the sexual level. <clears throat> the, the divine beings of, of such an ancient period of time who were uh, androgynous were of male and female nature. That was their matured nature. The divine beings that express during this cycle who are of the grand master level have both a male and a female personality. Th that, that, that's nature, okay? It has nothing to do with gay, hetero, you know, the, that's, uh, you start talking that, you're talking here. When you start talking about love and wisdom, you're talking up here. Okay, love and wisdom, male and female principle, okay.